guys, Ellie here. As you can see, I am surrounded, maybe not surrounded, but in front of me would be a ton of alpaca wool. This is Ernie's right here. And then in that other stall across from me, there's a bunch of Annie's wool. So a few days ago, for those of you that haven't seen the video yet, uh, we sheared our alpacas. It's about April, today's the 15th. So we're getting close to summertime. Every year we shear our alpacas around this time of year, April, May-ish, because whenever summer hits, it gets really, really hot. We live in Texas, so it can be up to 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit. And just imagine if you were an animal with all this wool on you, it'd probably be really hard to uh, cool off if you had this just covering your whole body. So we shear them, and even though they don't like it at the time, it's for their own good. It allows them to cool off much easier. It's just better for their health during the summertime. And at the end of my last video, I asked you guys to guess in the comments how much wool you think this is in pounds because that's the unit of measurement we use in America. Sorry to those of you, to those of you who use pounds. I mean, let me start over. Sorry to those of you who use kilograms or grams in other countries because y'all run by the metric system or whatever, but uh, we use a, a customary system in America. So I asked y'all to guess which alpaca's wool weighed more and how many pounds it was. And so, Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wool in these trash bags. I have two trash bags here, but honestly, there's a ton of wool here, so I may need a lot more than two bags. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get right to it. Oh man, this is a ton of, this is a ton of wool. Just look at this big, oh, just look how much I'm picking up. This is insanity. This is really, really something, you guys. It's so dusty, it's blown everywhere. For those of y'all wondering uh, why we don't sell this stuff on the market, because alpaca fiber is very, very valuable. It's fire retardant, it can't catch fire. It's hypoallergenic, meaning that people can't really catch allergic reactions to it when you make clothes out of it and whatnot, because a lot of people are allergic to certain materials. But we can't sell it because, let me get a big cloth and show you real fast. As you can see, it's very, very dirty and has stuff all over it. And alpaca fiber, I mean, alpaca farmers that usually sell these fibers, they shampoo them throughout the year. And whenever they shear them, they um, have a clean, uh, just, they just have a clean environment to where it's not gonna get dirty and to where the product won't be tainted. And so we don't do any of those preparations for our alpacas. And so that's why it wouldn't really be of any value if we sold it, unlike people who groom their alpacas for that purpose. But yeah, for those people who do, sell a fiber it is very very valuable and it pays pretty good so one could make a lot of money by selling this stuff if they wanted to but we can't really do that because of the circumstances that i just explained to you that's okay though i'm still gonna weigh it and it's just cool to have and it's just cool to see it's kind of cool to feel it feels very very it feels unique i'll put it that way it feels like sheep wool <laughs> There was something else that I was gonna talk about, but I totally forgot. I don't really remember what it was. I'll, whenever I think of it, I'm sure I'll say it. These are the zip ties that we used to tie Ernie down whenever he wasn't cooperating. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say actually on that note. Um, the video of us shearing the alpacas is on my dad's I'm a Survivor Sanctuary YouTube. It was a really entertaining video. The alpacas were going crazy. Annie was just spitting all over the place. She projectiled many of us at different times throughout the video. So definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it already. It was a hilarious video and it showed a lot of people why you need to be careful what you're asking for when you say you want an alpaca because they can be fierce when it comes to times like these. And so that's what I was trying to remember that I was gonna say. But yeah, I'm like, Poor, poor Jamie got it the worst. Jamie got spit right in the face whenever uh, she was shearing Annie. It was just a total disaster. I don't mean to spoil the whole video, but maybe that'll be a, an attention getter, the fact that she had spit in the face by that disgusting, disgusting alpaca regurgitation. What a lot of you may not realize about that stuff is that not only is it like, does it smell really bad when you're close, but the range that it has is insane. I was the videographer and so I was sitting probably like at times maybe five or 10 feet away from them and I could still smell it as if it was like right up in my face. Maybe you want to gag and like puke a few times. It was, it was putrid, it was horrible. 
rancid. All the worst um, words you can think of to describe it, it fits. You know, guys, I kind of underestimated this trash bag. I didn't even need the second bag or any other bags since that. And almost every single little ounce of the wool was able to fit in this trash bag. Right there on the ground is just the rest of the few scraps and leftovers. So I probably won't even like try to put those in the bag. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it quits right here because the vast majority was able to fit in that one bag. So I am very, very impressed. I definitely underestimated it. And let's go ahead and go get Annie's with this other bag and then we'll see who's weighs more. All right, I'm almost done with Annie's. Yeah, there was some spit in one of the other pieces of wool that I picked up from her and that was really disgusting. My dad gave me this idea because he knows I like weighing stuff and it was a really good idea. I appreciate it, dad, but oh, this is pretty gross. I can't be done with this soon enough. As far as the spit itself, what they do, this is disgusting, this is the worst part, is that they'll swallow food they've eaten or something and then they will vomit it back up into their esophagus or whatever, whatever they have in their throat and then They'll spit it at you. So they're, they're literally spitting throw up at you. That's what, that's what they do whenever they spit on people. Other animals like flies and things regurgitate their food, but at least they swallow it back a second time. So that's a little bit less gross than having it try to get on you. And I am about done. There's just little traces left, but once again, I was able to fit all the wool into one trash bag. So y'all give a round of applause to these trash bags, guys. They really, really got the job done here all right here we go ladies and gentlemen this is the grand reveal i can tell that this is annie's bag stop it guys don't even start that nonsense please they'll stop eventually but yeah this would be annie's bag because i can see the the wool and there's her color so let's go ahead and weigh myself first as a benchmark i weigh today my weight fluctuates every day on this scale. It's really weird. Today, I weigh 160.6. Sounds about right. The 160 range is what I typically weigh. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hold Annie's bag and then weigh myself while I'm holding the bag. Only six pounds? Yeah, cause I'm 160.6 and then with the wool, I weigh 166.6. So, this only weighs six pounds, you guys. All that wool weighs about six pounds. That's pretty, I think a lot of you overestimated Whenever I was reading the comments, some of you were saying 20, 30, 40 pounds. A few said like 14 or 15, but man, I don't know if any of you got it right on the dot this time. I think almost every single one of you overestimated because a lot of y'all were saying 20s and above. I remember when reading, I was like glancing through the comments and I read a bunch of weights that were like in the 20s and 30s and stuff. Let's see. Ernie's wool. What? No way. No way. Holding Ernie's wool, I weigh the exact same. That means that Annie and Ernie's... Okay, this can't be right. I'm going to redo it. Because if y'all saw what I saw, then y'all saw that both bags... Stop it, Gaze. Be quiet. If y'all saw what I saw, then you saw that both bags weigh the exact same. 6.0 pounds. I'm going to do it again, just to double check. 166.6 for Annie. Yep. And now for Ernie... If the scale will work, please. Any day now. No rush here, but getting a little impatient. I have other things I need to do today. So maybe I am in a rush. I have a test tonight. I, Brindley probably wants to play. I want to play Xbox. I want to upload this video. Okay. Well, y'all see it guys. I weighed 160.6 and both of these bags weigh exactly six pounds so i'm gonna go ahead and dig through the comments and see if any of you get six pounds on the nose all right guys so i've read through the comments and i think that we have two winners so let's get right into it so one person answered the question really specifically and mathematically got the closest that person would be Lori griffin so congrats to Lori griffin uh as you can see she was only one ounce too heavy for ernie and she was a pound and five ounces too heavy or 21 ounces too heavy for annie and so in total that means she was 22 ounces off there were a few other people that were 23 or 25 ounces off in total but Lori griffin was the closest in total so congrats to Lori griffin 
no one got it specifically. However, there is one person, uh, Nisa Lum, Nisa Lum, however you say this, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they were pretty vague. They didn't answer the question specifically. They didn't answer all the questions, but they did say, I think it'll be six pounds and they got it exactly right. It was exactly six pounds for both of them. So I think that she deserves a shout out too, he or she. So congrats to both of you guys for winning the contest. Look at Cornholio behind me. Cornholio! <laughs> I've gotten pretty good. I'm kind of like Lex now. I'm trying to talk, but I can't really get a word in with those geese yelling in the background. I guess I can say that Ernie still has a little bit of wool left on his back legs. He has a British Bulldog vibe going. That's an old WWE wrestler from the 80s, if y'all don't know who that is. But, I don't know. I'm not able to find Annie anywhere. Annie? Ernie, I'm not even trying to walk near you. Dude. I'm trying to look for Annie. Guys, stop it! <laughs> It's really agitating me. There she is. I felt I saw Annie right there. I see Annie. There's Annie. I want you to see how Annie, I'm sure most of you have already seen her because y'all saw the video, but if you didn't, I want you to see how she looks like one of those hairless cats. Y'all know those hairless cats that some people have? Doesn't she look just like one of those hairless cats? <laughs> I don't mean to make fun of you, Annie. You just look kind of funny. You just look so different because we're used to you being so fluffy we're not used to you being clean shaven like this cornholio trying to come up behind me yeah oh cornholio he's such a goofy guy he's such a unique head guys he's such a unique bird altogether i love cornholio i wonder what's going through his mind right now what do y'all think that he's thinking when he's walking behind me just chilling where's this girl at where's gloria i don't know all right guys this video is kind of dragging on i better go ahead and end it pretty soon yeah guys with that said i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see hope you have a great day and as i always say your boy ellie out